So last week, Machine 3 came out, and since then, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been making a lot more beats. I've been utilizing the stem separation, which I was very happy for. But the week before last, I spoke about stem separation with FL Studio and said if it didn't line up with Machine 3, there may be a problem with that, and I would actually would want to be more vocal about that. So in this video, we're actually going to go ahead and compare FL Studio stem separation to Machine 3. Chill Squad, what it do? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not part of the Chill Squad, my name is Avadon Smith and I help creators find their unique sound and live a perfect driven life. So if that's something that you want to be a part of, here is the like button, the subscribe button, and you make sure you share this with a friend. And if you're on the fence on buying Machine 3, I would encourage you to stay to the end to see the comparison between both videos to see which stem separation feature is better. And if Machine 3 looks like it is the better fit for you, I have a link in the description down below. I do get a kickback on the channel and that clicking that link does, well, using that link and purchasing from that link rather, does support the channel. So I would encourage you to go ahead and click that link if Machine 3 will be fit for you. And I'm just going to show you the basics on how the stem separation works here. So we're just gonna choose this. And we are first gonna get our cut. So let's see where we can get a cut that has the voice. All right, cool. So this works right here. This has bass, voice, and instruments. That out, so we know we got the first part of the sample. And let's listen so we know where it ends. Oh, okay, I think it's right there. Right there, okay. So I already turned my tempo down to 88, so we already know where this is gonna end. So about right here, so we can get the, the, the slice tool. And shot right here. Boom, boom, done. All right, so now where is the, do we have the stretch tool? We do, stretch tool is utilized. We're gonna pull this back right here. So with this, you can hear that the pitch change and everything. Now we could easily change the, the, the pitch back by going, change the stretch. See? But I actually like the, the new pitch. And all we're gonna do is click this button right here and go to extract stems from sample. And you see, you get the drums, bass, instruments, and vocals. Now I'm gonna count how long this takes us. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It took us ten seconds to do that for a four-bar sample. So you can imagine if you if you're trying to extract stems outside of four bars, then it's gonna take you a little bit longer. And my system, is, while it's not the newest, I have a Ryzen Threadripper that I got back in 2018, and as well as a 1080 Ti, which I actually just replaced from the 11 gigabyte to the eight gigabyte. So those are some stats and I have 32 gigs of RAM. So there's, those. I have a few things to consider as to why mine may load faster or slower than yours depending on your system so as i'm going through that i want to show you all how this sounds so as you can hear this extracted with the pitch that i changed it to so let's see if we have anything we can add this to I want to see if I could add some drums to this. Let's go with this. 
and we're gonna have to stretch this out too. It's another thing that I don't necessarily care for with with FO. I have to manually do all this. Oh, it's off by just a little bit. Well, let's pull it back with that. And if you wanted to chop this up a bit more, I'm a slicer guy. Uh, you want to double click your sample, right click the wave right here, and click open a new fruity slicer channel. I would turn this down to 16 to keep it at four bars. And then all I would do is just left click this button right here, hit beat. And then if you go to your pattern, which I switched to the pattern already, you're going to have your sample. And you can slice it up right here, do it however you please. So that's FL Studio stem separation. Let's go over to machine. And I'm going to actually load up machine here because this is something new in machine three that I like a lot. Look how much faster it loads. If you want to load to a new project, this loads almost instantly now. And for those of you who've been using machine for as long as I have, you would know machine two took forever to load. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to set our tempo to roughly about 88. And we're going to do the same sample as we used for FL Studio, just to keep it fair. So fragmented visions to comps. It was warrior. And we're going to put it out right here. OK, so we got the song warrior. And we're going to go audio. All right, let's go. All right, so pattern, put this at four. We got everything we need already. So what I do with machine, the up oh, is off by is off by a little bit. So I got to make sure it's stretched properly. There we go. So what I do in machine is I usually copy and paste. So I'll keep this one as the main and I'll make this one, this uh, pattern right here, the one that I want to truncate. So we know it's going to start at pattern five. Then what we're going to do is go to sampling, edit, put this at five, and things about right here. Yep. Truncate. Got our sample. So already got our sample. I'll do the drums later. So what we do now is we go Keep it, we'll keep it in sampling. Now that we have the sample, all we got to do is click stem. So I'm going to count for this as well. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So as we, from what we can see, FL Studio is definitely five seconds faster, which is a good chunk of time with stem separation. I don't like the speed of stem separation here. And also in comparison to FO, um, I don't like the fact, watch this. It doesn't mute the beginning, um, the source track. So I got to mute that myself. 
and it doesn't carry over the pitch that I would want. So I would have to manually click all of these and just turn it to the pitch that I want. I only went up one notch. So. But with that drawback in mind, I would say that is probably the main thing because now I have access to use the drums however I please. So now if I just want to put a drum here, oops, wrong, wrong thing. I hit the wrong group. Use the drums, watch this. It flows a lot faster as opposed to NFL. Normally, as you saw with the other drums, I had to kind of like move the drums to fit and to fit the, the BPM of the beat. I had to do that manually. With machine, that's already done and the workflow is kind of already there. And with slicing, let's just move the this one over. Let's, if we wanted to slice this, right? Right? So let's let's work on this one. As you can see, I'm already setting this up. We're gonna make this into a slice in just a moment. All right, so I'm gonna go to slice, grid, apply, put it in the same group, boom. And it's quicker to put this into slice. And also too, because I'm a machine, I can create multiple patterns and variations. So I don't have to worry about messing up the slice. So while FL, so while FL Studio has the leg up on the initial uh, upload speed or the ex exporting speed rather, machine makes up for it with its speedy workflow that you're gonna be able to get to slicing way faster. So overall, I prefer machines because with the workflow, it's easier to flow and get the beat done a lot faster because once you have it in machine, once you have everything chopped up, it's a lot easier to flow and go from intro to song to hook to outro and you're done. As opposed to with FL, because it's more so point and click, it's going to take a lot more time. With things being on machine and you having the touch capability, you can almost double or triple your workflow. And the fact that you're taking about five seconds more to chop a four bar loop. I can do, I can see where that can be a small, a small drawback, but when you put your drums in, you you don't have to line up your drums to the sample. Your drums automatically click and connect to what the sample is. As opposed to FL Studio, you're going to go ahead and have to now realign your drums, especially if you have drums in different BPMs, especially if you're somebody who has created your own drum loops. And let's just say you have a drum loop that's at 180, BPM, right? FL Studio is going to show that it's super fast and everything. You have to automatically restretch that. Whereas in Machine, it's already going to restretch it to 90, a uh, 90 BPM if it, they see that your beat's at 90, or it's going to restretch it at whatever BPM it's already at for you automatically. So that is why I personally would say go with Machine 3. Again, I have a link down in the description. It does help help out the channel if you are interested. If not, it's fine. But that is my reason on why Machine 3's stem separation is actually better than FL Studio. We should have gotten a little bit more. We should be able to, to, to extract more. I do, I will say I would have liked to be able to extract more instruments. But if I could still at least get FL Studio's grade 
of extractions and be able to move at a faster workflow, I would definitely move with it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Let me know if this is something that is worth paying for in terms of using machine. For those of us who've been machine two users for over 10 years now, we know that this is a long time coming. So I'm excited. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. And if you all want to check out more of my videos on machine, check out this playlist right here. I got you Cur curated a whole playlist just for you. Let me know what you think and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.